So this is just a quick uh, tutorial on how, like if you possibly wanted to put a PDF onto a blog so that the PDF kind of sits on the page so people can scroll through it as you do it. There's two possible ways to do it. You can do research. You, for them in your, with the, from within your Google Drive, you can click on PDF. So PDF down here. Open this. And there's a file option here saying embed this PDF file, uh, which you can, what this is is kind of, it's a bit of what's called HTML code. So you have to copy this, go back to your blog and you paste it into the blog itself. So that you, what you have to do essentially is making it, so you go to post on your blog, you have to click on this button called HTML Um, and you, it's all right, and you paste the code, copy it here, copy this, back to my blog, paste it like that, preview. So what you get is this look, which I don't think is actually that great. You get this look for the PDF on the side. So that's kind of the easiest, but it's a bit, you can't really, see everything at once. So the other more professional option is this thing called Scribbed. Scribbed. Um, what it does is it, you upload a file and you just get what's called the code and you put it onto your blog. So really simply, the Scribbed thing, you need to have an account, so you need to create a login, it's just free. Upload a file, select your files, away you need to give it a description down here save and continue and it gives you what's called this embed code and so this copy this and go back here back to your blog paste it in so you're in your blog HTML paste it in this is just really geeky stuff which tells the blog what to do and then if you press publish or preview as this. So it puts the, like the handout straight on the blog. So then the easiest, the easiest way to do it is to create your post first. Click on this HTML button here. Just leave it here. And then you go back to that website called Scrib. Uh, you have to make an account, upload your file, and then just grab this embed, embed code and it puts it onto the page.